a spaceship on the edge of the solar system. It's Late Night with Henge. And here's your host, Spore. As they say on planet Earth, good evening humans and welcome to Late Night with Henge. Okay. This week in space, Glubronauts have been exploring a newly discovered so-called Sofa Nebula in IC434 and they have made some excellent discoveries. Namely, three lighters, a peanut and an old 50p. You know, the really big ones. Might be worth something, that, yes? The asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs has made a formal apology after being moved to tears watching Jurassic Park. <laughs> Elsewhere in the galaxy, inhabitants of the Agriculan colony ARP-148 have realised that the air is breathable there after all. They stayed in their spacesuits for 762 years, but now admit that they were overcautious. <laughs> there are calls for more attention to be paid to the well-being of human astronauts aboard the International Space Station, as many of them have developed a drinking problem. And the most hated Star Wars character of all time, Mr. Jar Jar Binks, attempts to relaunch his career as a pop star. I'm Mr. Jar Jar Binks. Squeeze me, me I'm a Mr. Jar Jar. Out on the pool, you know me as the comfort. Jedi man, the into a blah blah blah. Where my kids are going with me, I'm a chaos master. Wow. Well, best of luck to Mr. Binks on the relaunch. Okay, so you might be able to see out of the window behind me, but we are in the outer solar system at the moment. Yes, you can see that we're just approaching Uranus, which is, of course, a gas giant. <laughs> that one never stops being funny. On tonight's show, ever wondered what it's like to be the last of your species? We'll be interviewing the sole survivor of the great Venusian apocalypse, Brother Goo, as he is just about to release his autobiography, Memoirs of the Last Venusian. A very good book it is too. And we'll be taking a look back at some previously unseen footage from our Blue Dot Festival appearance in 2019. What a lot of fun that was. But first, we have some revelations about the origins of intelligent life on Earth that some of you might find quite surprising. Roll the VT! Thank <laughs> you. 
sun And the following directions experiments for eons and what a lot of fun we've had too next on the show we have a creature who has seen it all here promoting his tell-all autobiography a musician scientist polymath an unlikely sex symbol lone survivor of the destruction of his home planet last of his race master of bass ladies and gentlemen please welcome brother Goon. Welcome, Brother Goo! Welcome! So, congratulations on your book. It's a blistering read. You've had a very interesting life, Brother Goo. So tell us, what happened to your home planet? Billions of years ago, Venus had a delicious atmosphere. It was teeming with life. And now, it's a noxious, barren, Flipping sulfuric stink hole. 
So where did it all go wrong? So, this catastrophic event, this great Venusian apocalypse, was occurring. And of course, that's when we first met. Yeah. When we picked you up in our spacecraft Mushroom One, what was going through your mind? Indeed, uh, I think our audience will be very curious to know what attracts you to bass specifically. Is there something in the Venusian temperament that suits these lower frequencies? Wonderful, and I feel the same way very often. Um, and you, you're here today, uh, not just as the last of your species, but also the sole surviving example of Venusian organic matter. I mean, how does that feel? Do you get lonely? <laughs> And that's a very noble cause, and praise be to Brother Gu for sharing his story with us. Memoirs of the Last Venusian is out next week. Check it out. Okay, so now you can see, if you look out there, we are passing Saturn on our way back to Earth. And it's time for us to take a little look back at a special memory we have from Blue Dove Festival last year. The whole festival was a celebration of the anniversary of the Human Moon Landing Achievement, which took place 50 Earth years prior to the very day. And so here you have it, performing in the shadow of the majestic Lovell Telescope, this is Moon. <laughs>
Well, I have to say, well done, humans, for getting yourselves to the moon and back 51 years ago. But also, what have you been doing since then? You've taken your foot off the gas. You should be on Mars by now, you bunch of lightweights. Anyway, one thing we particularly admire about the human species is your creativity. You would certainly not have been able to get to the moon without it. This creativity can be expressed in so many ways, from your music and visual arts to the way you use language or make discoveries about the universe. In order to recognize the importance of creativity and also to stimulate the proliferation of creative activity in humans, last year we set up an art exchange scheme at our live shows. But first, we ourselves made something. This, this comic book, which we then made available for swapsies with anyone who bought their own artwork to a hen show. Okay, and this is still available on our website if you want to buy them. Many beautiful artworks were submitted. Here are some of them now. Gorgeous. Look at that. Wonderful. Oh, and look at this little cutie. Ah, oh, beautiful. As human beings, you've also had to get very creative in the ways that you look for exoplanets outside of your own solar system. That are not always easy to spot these, as they're orbiting very bright stars and have no light of their own. And this, dear humans, is the subject of our latest single, EXO, for which we have created a video using the very artworks that we were given by you. This is the first single from our new album, EXOCOSM, and if you wish, you can pre-order this album now at hengemusic.com forward slash shop. While you are watching this lovely little video, we're going to turn the room around in here and get ready to have a little party to get us in the mood for our return to Earth. Okay? Okay, hit it! <laughs>
Come on then, humans! This is your last chance for a boogie in space! We're on our way back to Earth! We'll be there in just about half an hour! From the base planet of Galactic Gate comes the Sod of Base Sine Wave 8. See Jupiter! Beautiful this time of year! We started with this wonderful song, Base Galactica 8, by Otto von Schira. Glory of the 
This is In Praise of Acid, an acid remix of In Praise of Water by Hen. Made by the wonderful Ronald. Hands in the air! This is CFAX Acid Crew! repeats this theme a lot but who wouldn't it's wonderful
Yes, and you're now listening to a brand new remix by Pill Testing of the brand new Henge single, EXO. One for all the techno heads out there. Are you ready? Are we allowed to get a little bit funky? Oh, man. 
balls. Balls. This is the wonderful Atakak.
Okay, humans. You know this one. Enjoyed your day in space. We've been flipping long way. You can see we're just going past Mars now. We're nearly home.
Far From Earth now. It's been a wonderful trip. Thank you all for coming. We'll soon be approaching the moon on our way back. Humans, your future is space. Looks very beautiful from space. As we hear the sounds of this dread bass, get ready to put your hands in the air as you catch sight of the Earth! It's good to be home! What a beautiful planet!
Yes, human beings! You beautiful species! Blue Dot Festival! Beautiful festival! As we get ready for re-entry here! We'd like to show our support for Jordan L. Bank! Prepare for re-entry! Three humans. Countdown to re-entry beginning. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Good luck, humans! See you back on Earth! Thank you very much! Good night!